Welcome back to my channel. It's Samantha here and welcome back to a new episode of our medieval legacy challenge um, But before we get too much into the episode today We have so many entries for the sim um, for the hashtag for the love of sims medieval now Some of you guys submitted these a little while back and I'm so sorry that I haven't shown them yet on my channel But today we are covering it all and I am so excited So before we go and join Rosalind back on her little cottage We do have to focus on this first so this is Miss Goldie Hood, and it was created by Purple Dragon 913 I absolutely love it. I definitely want Hood to move in with Mr. Robin Hood. Mr. Robin Hood finally has his beautiful pup Goldie Hood, and I think we're going to be seeing a lot more of her, and I'm so excited about that. Now, the same creator, Purple Dragon 913 also created a bunch of sims. So we have a little girl here who is a child who it looks like she is a social butterfly. Her name is Muriel Rolf, and I'm going to place her in a house. I'm not sure which house I'm going to place her in. I'm thinking maybe with this lagoon, uh, with Frederick Lagoon. Now... I love that this person created a lot of mysterious and like magical and mystical creatures for our world because when I think medieval times I think of all of that stuff you know witches and warlocks and ogres and all of that so it's so cool to have a mermaid and there's also another one so I'm really excited about that I don't own all the packs so um, he might not look the exact same but we're going to move him into this house here and I think we will add this little one into that household also. Now, the last one that Purple Dragon 913 made for us is Belladonna. And it is Lady Belladonna. And I love it. So it's basically like Bella Goth. <laughs> it kind of looks like her, uh, but she's a vampire. And I think, oh my gosh, Transylvania, we need to have a huge vampire mansion for her. So I'm going to place her in a lot. This story, when you guys create these sims, it helps me develop a whole world. And I'm so grateful. So thank you so much to Purple Dragon 913 for making so many amazing sims for the game. I am so excited to play with them all. And I am so excited to have them a part of this. So we're going to move her in there. It's a huge castle and she is going to be at Neighbors with Miss uh, Rosalind. So that's pretty exciting. Real Country Gamer has made a lot of sims for our medieval world and I'm super excited. So we first have this amazing like ogre family and they literally make me so happy. I have so many plans for this ogre family that I feel like we're going to have to have spin-off episodes and everything because they just make me so happy. Um, so we need to place them into a house, but how amazing is this, you guys? So if you guys are looking for the coolest sims in your mystic world, definitely check out Real Country Gamer because this is an awesome family. It's one of my all-time favorite families. Okay, so we also have the Marsh family. It says they're brother and sister, and and look how cute they are. I mean, this guy could have been definitely a Camden Marsh. He's a cutie pie. That's all I'm going to say about that. But, um, and his sister, look at Priscilla. Oh, beautiful, amazing creation. So, again, real country gamer. And then we can also move in Singer. So, we have Linda Singer. She's so beautiful. And we have J Jacobo. I think that's how you pronounce that. Um, here's one family for you. Again, from Real Country Gamer. I absolutely love, 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 love. Those were the sims that were made for our towny tan world, and I'm so grateful that you guys took the time to do that. But now, we have to look at some amazing builds. So, the first amazing build comes from Sasquatch Simmer. Uh, she made a medieval apothecary, and I love the idea of having this apothecary because, like I said, in the medieval times, I do think of witches and wizards, and I just love it. 
So we have this awesome apothecary. So if you guys are wanting something similar for your guys' save file, definitely check out Sasquatch Simmer's page. She does amazing builds. And she also has a YouTube channel. I will link it down below if you guys are interested in checking it out. So thank you so much, Sasquatch Simmer. Last but not least, we have the Bewitched Bakery by Simming Slytherin. Thank you so much again for making something for one of my uh, for one of my LPs. It makes me so excited when you guys create stuff. So it means so much to me. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So Simming Slytherin also does have her own YouTube channel. She did have a video. She does have a video up doing this build, but she has all kinds of stuff on there. So I will link her channel down below too. Go check it out. Um, so it says, hopefully no witch hunter will find what is in the basement of the kingdom's favorite bakery. Uh, so I'm super excited. It's a bakery with a little bit of a secret. And I have an idea for how we're going to utilize this in the story. So I'm very excited. Um, so I do have that placed also. So... Thank you, a huge thank you to all of you guys. And just a quick note, if you guys haven't already, please hit subscribe and hang out with us if you haven't already. And if you did enjoy this video, please hit the like button. That way I know to continue making content like this. And also, if you haven't, consider hitting the notification bell. That way you guys don't miss any time that I upload a video. And with all of that being said, you guys, let's go check in on Roslyn. Alrighty, you guys. So we are jumping in here. It is Monday at 11 11. Make a wish, Roslyn. So it's been a while since we've been with Miss Roslyn. She is sitting at her fire. She is feeling really good. She had a marshmallow and she's happy from being at a cozy campfire. But um, our plants do not need watering, but we do need to uh we do need to figure out a way to get a bigger gardening type center here so i think with her remaining munder remaining munder with her remaining money i'm gonna just switch things up a little bit to make this a little bit more practical you guys all righty so i've changed up a few things i added these wood pieces here because i thought that they looked cute i do plan on making this cottage a lot cuter it's just when we're so limited at the beginning with the money it's a little bit oh what's happening why does she have a future cute i guess what did she ask him how did we get a future cube is what I want. It's gone now. It doesn't say we have one. <laughs> she does have some carrots, but let's purchase some more seeds. We're going to do fruits, herbs. Let's do magical plants and let's do some starter vegetables and flowers. There. So now we should be able to uh, start planting more stuff because we are in the medieval times i feel like we should have some magical plants so you guys overwhelmingly all said that you want her to be with robin hood <laughs> i would say the majority of you guys definitely wanted to see rosalind end up with robin hood and i'm not i'm not mad about it like i said he is super handsome and i'm a big fan of him so i i'm not i am definitely not against seeing what baby rosalind slash robin hoods would look like that is for sure so I'm just going to get her to finish gardening and then I am going to send this little lady to sleep. She keeps... I don't know where she's getting this future cube from. So Rosalind definitely started off in a time of super coldness. Um, oh, Dad says he's heard that we have became friends with Robin Hood and that he is pretty cool. So, oh, and she found a treasure map. So that's pretty exciting. Anyways, so mom and dad, or so dad has noticed that we have, she's hungry. Okay, well, let's go light the fire. So dad has noticed we're friends with Robin Hood. I think we should... Okay, where is she getting this future cube from? Her future looks grim. Don't lose hope yet, but according to the cube, Rosalind's future isn't looking so pretty. 
That's not good. So she's feeling flirty. She's making herself a hot dog that looks like it's a little frozen right now. <laughs> um, but I think we're going to head out for the day and we're going to go over to uh, Robin Hood's just to get to know him, spend a little bit more time with him. And also we need to figure out if it's something that they are going to want, if they want to be together. Because if they don't want it, then, you know, we'll have to find something else, someone else. Okay, so let's get her to travel and we are going to go see Mr. Robin Hood. This is Robin Hood's house. Isn't it so much nicer? I can't wait till we have money and we can make Rosalind's house look like this. Um, this is so cool. Uh-oh, our horse is covered in snow. Robin Hood has his horse and he's got a fire for himself. Like, this is honestly such a nice uh place for her to live but um that being said you know the challenge rule says that they have to start off with a certain amount but this is kind of what the um outcome is going to be at least that i plan for like i want this to be what their home looks like um by the end of this i know it's kind of a little bit of a spoiler but i really love it but anyways, so she's come over to see Robin Hood, so I'm going to have her... Oh, why is she mad? I'm going to have her come over and just ask about his day. And let's just try to get to know him and see if they get along well. <clears throat> It already gives us the option to ask him to join household, so I think Robin Hood had seen that she was really struggling when he went to go visit her last time. So I think he really cares about her um, and is a little worried about her. I think they definitely have become good friends. He is uncomfortable though, so we should ask him about his uncomfortable mood. There we go. Oh my god! Oh, the fox! I think he was uh, fighting with um, a skunk. Oh, he needs a bath. Okay, we need to come over. Like, Robin Hood's adorable, but Goldie Hood is even cuter. Let's get to know. Um, let's praise. Let's play. Oh, I think she likes us already. Oh, she's a troublemaker. Oh, just like Robin Hood. I think Robin Hood's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe she gets along with Goldie. Because I would imagine Goldie's probably like super protective, only wants to be with her dad. Oh, they've become acquaintances. Oh, you guys. So now we stink because we were around a stinky... Uh, a uh, fox, but he doesn't seem to mind too much, so that's good. Uh, so they're playing chess together, so hopefully that will build their friendship up a little bit. Um, and I'm, oh my gosh, there's the future cube again. I know I saw some stuff online about this, but I wasn't, I didn't really read about it. If you guys know what the heck's going on with all these future cubes, please let me know. Oh, he's cold. <laughs> Rosin's like, I'm gonna go take a bath, but... How about you? Oh, Thea Town says, wondering if I want to go over to her house and hang out. Aw, Thea. At the castle. Why is Thea at the castle? Sorry, Robin. I have investigating to do. But they're doing pretty good. He is considered a friend, so that was pretty easy for us. Well, we're not going to a castle. Apparently, he doesn't care that we just took his bath. Our sister is living at the castle, not at home for some reason, and she's a teen. So I'm a little confused about that. Um, but Rosalind is taking the opportunity of visiting Robin Hood at his nice house, and she is taking a bath in the watering hole like she hasn't been able to do for some time. So we're gonna go home for now and hopefully Robin Hood and his little cutie pie dog Goldie will come by later. But yeah, I'm a huge fan of how this location turned out. Like this is like my dream location for 
Miss Roslyn. Okay, so Roslyn is back home. She is still feeling pretty sad about... Is she still stinking? No. She's still feeling pretty sad from the future cube. <laughs> I feel like Roslyn knows that Alistair was up to something and was involved somehow when it comes to the king and queen and what happened with Rowan and Lady Esme. And I feel like she would want to start doing some research. So I want her to get into like herbalism. I want her to start getting into herbalism and I want her to start getting into reading magic. I don't think I necessarily want her to become uh, a sorcerer or a witch by any means, but I do want her just to start kind of, you know, investigating the potion side and all of these different things. That way she can, oh, I hope I can see you soon. Oh, we should invite dad over. Invite dad to hang out and we'll invite Robin to hang out. So I've purchased the herbalism book. I feel like that's just the start for her. Like I said, she's not a witch. So it's not like she's all of a sudden going to be like, oh, let me just go pick up this spellcraft book from the library, you know? <laughs> so I think she's just going to start down that path slowly. And as she learns more and more, she's going to be able to start to maybe understand Alistair a little bit better. And it might help her in dealing with the royals somehow <gasps> oh my god extinguish don't sit on it I didn't know a rock could go on fire do you guys remember in the last episode when I said oh I'm gonna be able to avoid that because I got a rock instead come extinguish it come on Okay, I know this is completely out of the time, but I really want to call the fire department because I haven't yet. So maybe they'll get here. Okay, Robin Hood's here. Here they are. So we have two firefighters. Is any one of them going to put the fire out? That's it. They're just going to stand there. Why can't she put the fire... Okay, well, it's out now. And the firefighters are just gone. Okay, well... <laughs> that was extreme. The fire has been put out. Just try to be more careful next time. Oh, my God. My poor dad. I'm gonna give him a heart attack. Oh, hey, dad. I swear, I'm totally doing fine. There's nothing you need to worry about. Um... I almost burned the house down and oh yeah, can you and Robin maybe build me a bigger fire? <laughs> the guys are here. I'm going to have Roslyn visit with both of them. Oh no, 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 no. Don't send help. Don't send help. No, no, no. It looks like Robin Hood and our dad gets along really well. So let's discuss our interests and with dad we should express admiration admiration for him so she's just thanking both of them for coming and for checking on her of course with the fire <laughs> even though they were both super big chickens dad's like no problem you know i love you so, dad knows that her, his daughter's safe right now. Um, I don't know how happy he is about what she's doing and where she's living, because it doesn't seem super promising. But at least he knows that she's okay right now, and that's what really matters. And let's give him a residence key, because he is our dad. I feel like, you know, we'd want him to be able to come visit whenever. I'm going to move this away from the house in case it does start fire again. So we gave him a residence key and I'm going to send him home. Because me and Robin, ooh, he's sitting on our bed. What's he reading? Untamed Treachery of the Heart. So let's ask him if he wants children. Because part of the challenge is we need to have five kids. So we should make sure he's up for it. 
He doesn't have kids. Oh, we should ask him if he wants kids. He's thinking woohoo. So I think that they he's saying, you know, even though, you know, they're not necessarily in a romantic relationship yet, we know that that's what you guys have voted on. Um, I think that she, he's open to having kids. That's good. Um, I do think that he is going to want to help her. Like, he sees how much she's struggling. The farm almost burned down. She barely can eat anything. She's just eating sausages and that's it. Like, she's really not able to care for herself the way that, um, not to, you know, she, she it's not that she couldn't learn, but it, he sees that she could definitely use the help so i think that he is leaving with that on his mind like you know she is trying really hard to get a life here for herself but she could maybe use some assistance in the matter so rosalind is going to sleep i think she's feeling pretty proud of herself i'm gonna have to fix that roof but we'll do it later um i think she's feeling pretty proud of herself but i mean her money's running out pretty quick, and her um, her fruits and vegetables aren't coming any faster. You know, she's, she's going to be running out pretty soon, so it would be nice to have someone else around that could help her. And um, so at least Robin Hood will be able to help her uh, garden a little bit more and try to help her around the farm. And I think that will be a huge help to her. And I think that she really needs it. It's really hard that she is here in the winter because she can't fish. She, oh, she's going to go take a shower on her own. Okay. She can't fish. She literally all she can do right now is eat hot dogs <laughs> well i mean do you know what she does have some vegetables i'm gonna let her eat a plantain she can eat some fruits and veggies oh she oh my gosh yes stop shaking her okay we'll take a shower she woke up flirty after robin hood was here yesterday so after she's done her shower, I think we're going to ask him out on a date. I'm not really sure what a date would look like um, in medieval times. But I feel like he would like something adventurous to do anyways. It's, it's still too cold. Yeah, how many days left of winter do we have left? Oh, we're on day four. We're getting there, you guys. I guess they could come over here to this like romantic park. They could go visit the ogre family. This is technically the horse stalls that I downloaded. How cool is that? I love that. Um, there's not really a lot for them to do right now. This is where we moved that vampire lady. If you guys haven't seen the tour of this build, you should definitely go check out my build tour because it's amazing. Uh, let's just take them over to the ancient ruins. So I do think that, uh, what's it called? I do think that Rosalind would definitely, um, she, she's too confident and independent that I don't think she would want, I don't think that she would ask for him for his help, but I do think that he recognizes she needs it. So I do think though that she definitely is interested in him. So I am gonna have her just do a little flirt and see what happens. Oh, he definitely responded well. So he definitely likes her, so that's good. So maybe let's get them to have a snowball fight together because they're, you know, they're in the ancient ruins. They're by a big bonfire. Apparently they're having a snowball fight between the wall. <laughs> I think she's winning. <laughs> Who knew snow could go through the concrete wall? But yeah, so I think that these two are going to be really cute. And I think that we are definitely going to pursue that. So let's ask Robin Hood if he is single. <laughs> 
He is. Oh, I'm so excited for these two to get together. So back in medieval times, mostly uh, a bride and a groom did not choose each other. Sometimes the man would get an opportunity to choose a bride, but most of the time it would bring um, resources together. That way um, that they would be able to, especially, you know, peasants, you know, villagers, they didn't have a lot of money. So you know, oh, they've got sheep, they've got this, they've got that. We can bring our resources together and we will all, you know, benefit from this marriage. So I think that this is more of um, them, like I do think they get along really well and usually they would form good friendships, not always fall in love back then. Um, but I do see Robin Hood and um, Rosalind kind of deciding, you know, you need help, I need help, let's get together and be able to, you know, make things better. And, you know, she's already confided in him about her suspicions about what's going on with the king and queen and what happened there. And we know that Robin Hood is really passionate about wanting to, you know, provide for, you know, the poor. So um, I think he's decided that in order to help Rosalind and also to benefit his goal, you know, teaming up with her when she's got plans to try to figure out and uncover what's going on, it's important to him too. So uh, even though they like each other and they get along, so we had 1,111. Now it does say in the challenge rules, we are able to take some money over. We had 1,111. I think I'm gonna transfer over a thousand more. I think 5,000 is a fair amount. I do not wanna sell the lot or the furnishings because we you know, can't afford that. So we're taking over the 5,000 and that's it. Okay, so Robin Hood and Foxy are a part so of our home now, we've decided. So we're gonna take everyone home. Foxy is adorable. Hi, Foxy. Hi, Goldie. I love Goldie. All right, so we are welcoming everyone to our home. Um, Goldie is a hunter, so that's really good. So we should send her hunting for us and see what she brings back. Look, she's running right to the bush again. I have a feeling we're gonna be seeing that a lot of her. So Robin Hood has moved in. Let's check in on all of our stuff. Yay, sell carrots. So let's just have her go sell all. Now Robin Hood has the Renaissance Sim. He wants to be good at many things and his traits on his Simology panel is kleptomaniac because he likes to steal from the rich to provide for the poor. He is outgoing and he is a quick learner and he is cheerful. So I'm kind of excited about this because I feel like we had 5,555 when we came back to the lot. So I am going to, we made five, we didn't make very much, that's for sure. So we do owe the king and queen this week for our growth, $34. Oh, we need to get a pet bowl for, Fo uh, for Goldie. I keep calling her Foxy, but we need to get Goldie a little food dish. This one's a wood, so that looks the best. But anyways, so Robin Hood is going to go over to the castle to deliver our $34 that we owe for taxes. And we will go to the castle. And I think the king and queen had their baby. I just noticed it said one baby. And I'm gonna move our sister back to the village that we were born at because I'm not really sure why Thea has moved into the castle, but I'll check first to see that she's not having any weird, strange relationships we don't know about, you know? I have no clue where the baby is in this house. I'm curious to see if they had a boy or a girl. Because I know that they wanted to have a boy so they would have a uh, an heir. Oh, there's Alistair looking all mysterious in his Ronald McDonald jean jacket. I honestly have no clue where the baby is. There is Drake. Oh my gosh, did they go, are they in the dungeon, the baby? Oh my God, the baby's in the dungeon. Well, let's come over here and age up the baby. 
Oh my gosh, I can't believe the game put the baby in the dungeon. Colby, I love that name. So it's a boy. Well, I think it's a boy. Oh my god. And he got the red hair like Cecilia. Colby of Matadam. So they do have an heir. Little cutie, and he's in the dungeon. Oh my gosh, like, where's the mother? Like, the queen's like, whatever, take care of him. Let me know when he's ready to serve as king. Now she's up here like, oh my god, I got this fresh salad from the servant's garden. It was so good. <laughs> These two are crazy. Oh, what is she doing? She's just picking her ear. Yeah, she would not be cooking. That would be her servant's job. Um, but here's Alistair. So let's come over here and we are going to say hello to Alistair. Oh my god, Robin is peeing while holding their child. There's some um, mad glitches going on here. Okay, you can let go of the baby. Like, I mean, at least he was brought here. Okay, so let's go over here and um, argue about politics. There we go. So I think Robin's going to come in here and he is going to argue about the fact that he has to pay these taxes and that they are taking advantage of people. And I think Alistair's like, oh, wow, um, I can't believe this guy's here. Because if you guys remember in the first episode, Robin is actually the rightful heir to the kingdom. But Alistair poisoned him with a potion so that way he would not remember that he, you know, had the right to the home and the kingdom. And I'm going to let him grab food while he's here. But anyways, so, I, yeah, Alistair is like, what's going on? And he's really worried, but he doesn't seem to really remember anything. He just thinks he is a another villager who, you know, is upset about having to pay the king and queen money. So, um, right now, I think Alistair recognizes, like, oh, crap, I can't believe. Oh, here's our sister, Thea. Like, why is she here? She looks really sad. She's depressed. Oh my gosh, why are you here? Okay, you are coming back with us. Why is she depressed? Aw, oh, from a loss in the family. Who died? <gasps> what? When did Francis die? Why didn't we get the notification that our father died? Oh my god, you guys, dad died. Oh no. That means that Thea is alone. Maybe that's why she was lit. No, because dad was alive when we knew that she had moved. Oh my gosh. Okay, we need to go home and check on Rosalyn. I don't know if Rosalind even knows that her father's died. Oh my gosh, Rosalind is sad. Okay, we need to go travel over. I don't know where dad was when he died, but we need to get his urn and bury him. So, obviously our sister is going to have to move in with us because she's still a teen. And she hasn't met anyone yet. Usually women, when they are teens, they would be married. So I'm not sure how long uh, Thea will stay with us. But for now, I mean, dad just died. That's going to break Rosalind's heart because, you know, she was hoping that she would be able to make a better life for her and her family before it was too late. So I'm hoping we will be able to knock on the door here. No one lives here. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys. I am honestly so sad right now. This is their old family home. Where was dad when he died? Look how cozy their old family home was. 
her mom really made it such a wonderful home. Uh, okay, so dad's not in here. I wonder where dad died. Like, you'd think it would be on the property, but this is technically their entire property, so he could have died anywhere on this lot, actually. But we have to find the urn in order to take him home. So this was dad's bed. Oh my gosh, it's still made, which means he didn't sleep here last night. So the future cube was right, though. Our future did not look bright, and we didn't even know it. Our father has died. So the future cube was more right than we knew. Uh, our father passed away, and we didn't even know it. So we're going to have to, I guess, adopt our sister as our dependent. Let's uh, try to give her a hug. Oh my god, another fire! No! No! <laughs> the future co cube. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> no! Okay, Robin Hood, please tell me uh, that you are going to be able to put this fire out. Can anyone get to it? Can anyone get to the fire? Okay, listen, uh, Thea, can you put the fire out? Why can they never reach the fire on this property? Okay, well, then get out because our house is about to burn down. Oh my god, you guys. Could the future cube be any more accurate about Rosalind's future? Her house is burning down. Her father died. Her sister moved in. No, you don't need to wash your hands right now, Thea. Get away from the fire. Oh my god. And we got $30 in insurance. Well, you know what? It is decidedly so. Oh, that future cube is gonna... And we have no clue where our father is. We're gonna have to try to find dad in the next episode. Let me make a note of that. Find dad. So that way we can give him a proper burial. Maybe Alistair took it into his own hands to deal with Robin Hood and Rosalind's suspicions. Um, I don't know. Anyways, you guys. So that's where we're gonna leave today's episode what a crazy episode it was hopefully we'll be able to figure everything out in the next one but uh, a turn of events our father has died our sister has moved in with us and i am pretty sure that the royals and tricky alistair has definitely has something to do with it so what a whirlwind episode. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please let me know in the comments down below what you guys think so far. Can you believe that our dad died already? I'm so sad about it. And we didn't get a notification. So I have a feeling he did not die from natural causes. I think that there was definitely some interference there. Let me know what you guys think about that. Wow, crazy. And yeah, so until next time, you guys, I am going to say bye for now.